Okay, so let's look on some of the preferences and more customization application. Sometimes when you feel more comfortable with Windows and you start working on this, you find out that you may try to access some properties the faster way or preview. For example, what if I want to have just a render button right here on top or fast access? Of course, I can go click and control R or render so I can access this way to preview. But sometimes to customization to optimize workflow can be much faster and nicer way to work this. So let's go look on this. The one what I want to do is go edit and we'll look on the preferences or you can press F2. So let's go ahead and we expand this window so we can preview a little bit better. You'll notice in preferences we have several different tabs. General, Startup, Sense, Interface, Content Library and CMS Content. So let's go with the general information. You have the after ship information. They can put it your information and you can edit this. So you can say like, for example, contact. So I'll just put it my name and geek at play. So the people can contact me and you can put it also your information. So right here, for example, if you want to contact me, I put it my info in and next time when you see, you can go ahead and directly contact me. So right here, you can also enable if you want to participate in the studio and location for your folders, temporary files, uh, JSON files and other ones. Right here, example, I maybe want to change my temporary file and the reason why, because it's located on a C drive. My C drive is SSD drive, which is a little bit limited capacity and I using my other drive as a work drive. So I may be going and replace this for now. I just leave it as default. We also have it options where you want to update weekly. It probably most common. And if you feel like you can update, uh, check for updates right at this moment. So start up, it's will, when you launch, open your application, what happened? You can always preload it already created file. You can hide the home page and show some metadata on import page. So this is as a default and you can change them. So let's go inside the sense. And when you created a new sense file new, this is what's happened. So you can say, okay, when I create new, I want preloaded. So for example, if you have some base or background, you can preload it. You can also already create a default camera. Right now, you remember we did not have any camera, but you can create one already when you just click on new. You can fit, you can set a background colors. You can see right now we have a kind of blue, but you can preload it with open with scenes or a different ways. We also have an image and render settings. So you can record settings on the new or you can ignore it. So it's just options when you start creating. We also have an option for the interface. Do we need create splash image? If you remember when you open, it's pop up. We enable our tooltip and I recommend it to keep enable for now. Disable animations. It's just a little bit faster on the UI how it will work. We have it also activity bar, which is on the bottom. We can display what information we need there. And overall, um, per pixel shading and just additional OpenGL properties. You notice when you start rendering, just by default, leave it them off. And in advanced ones, we'll look some of the optimization, but overall the default settings will work very well in most situations. Okay, if we have any bridge, hexagon bridge currently, and any other like multi-threading on. For example, I have it, um, this is about 12 cores I think we're showing. So multi-threading is very important for me for the speed up. Okay, also we have a content library and it's we have a content library showing on sides. We have a shoulder tip, all exactly same, uh, similar what we have it. The manager using native format loading. So all of this, you can leave it as the default. Right here, we have a content directory manager and by clicking on this, we'll have an additional interface that may help us add additional directories and set up a location for the content. And again, we did not yet look on this content library yet, but it's right here where we can set some of the reference and assignments to this. So then we have it also CMS content. 
and mostly this is for content management so just leave it as a default and if you have a problem with uh, mostly if you're some other application using your port you may change it but most time you won't have any problem if you create on a setup so right here a couple of things we have it apply accept and cancel so we want to apply if we make any changes we can accept to close it or if you want discard it, you can please cancel okay so this is one way to customizing so let's look right now on this toolbar and how i can customize this the one easy way you can always add additional elements to this by right clicking on the top and you notice right here we have a check bar so this is related to our pause animation tool slides and they're already preset so for example if i want to render i click right here and look i have it now render preset i can move this maybe you know just to readjust slightly okay maybe give it a little bit more space to this but right here i add my render so now if i click i can directly accessing we can further modify and creating additional option to this so we can go this by accessing inside the okay, workspace let's go in customization or you can press f3 and right here you can find more in detail customization i don't know if you want to create this on a beginning you can wait a little bit but in some cases just nice to know where it exists and what you can do so for example right here we have it activities or you can workflows or a call worship or so we can create it different ones okay we also have it the menus from drop down and also we have it the toolbars so currently we have it create toolbar okay or right here um preset so let's go expand this or render you remember we have it just only one render so right here we have it our add primitives we have the restore material character it's sort of right there and for example if we want to add new we can combine and modify this as well so and by modifying this we can add additional toolbar add separator or viewport alignment so overall it just help you to kind of customizing some of this um, you can always to go modify if you want to play around for example we can go just add left alignment some center separation you can remove this and anytime when you for example did something and you don't remember just don't save it click cancel and it's restore back to original proper so you don't need to worry okay this is about toolbar let's look on activities right here and we have it or the workflows we have actors pause animation lighting and render so for example right here I have it my render and I expand render toolbar you notice we have our lights whatever um, and camera on but no tools enabled so I can actually go ahead and enable this one toolbar for example let's click apply okay accept and now if I go on the render you'll notice right here I have my toolbar enabled so I can always add additional properties if I need it and depend if I want to use it. So let's go to Windows. And the first one, when we create it, we don't want to overwhelm too much with this. So it's the reason why some of those properties is hiding, hiding like pause animation preset. For example, we don't need here, but if you want right in this area, for example, if I want to enable my um, render for my uh, pause and animations or for example in here you should see we already animated you remember we enable so you can have a different ways you can to do this again let's go accept okay and now if we go to pause and animate right here we have it, our render option okay let's go back to our tools customization okay we also have it, our basic layout okay and most time you probably don't need to modify or change icon or do anything just overall if for some reason you feel urged to change a couple things you can always like surface explain you can always write here and change or create shortcut for some specific um, access if you use it quite a bit often so or if for example you need to remember right here control i refresh image so kind of to help you activate Okay, also we have access to the menus. And mostly it's right here, main menu top. You have file, create. 
So same things, it's quite a bit in details you can see and access. For example, right here, this is our drop down menu. Okay. And this is related to all other menus that we have inside the application. I say mostly I don't want to be you too overwhelmed, but it's quite a bit extensive. Um, you can do customization, a lot of things to align to your workflow. Overall, on a beginning, again, remember just be sure keep it um, same look. Don't make too much customization. So it's make much easier to follow the documentation or follow the tutorials, and uh, till you feel very familiar.